Hi guys, I'm in Darwin now. I got here last night. Well, actually I got here this morning. The flight got in uh, about half past 12 at night. So I'm in an Airbnb now, which is quite nice. Let me see a little bit of the room. So I'm in a private room at like a big house. So the owners live here and they've got, I think, two or three guest rooms. But it's nice, it's kind of self-contained. It's just like a little room with an outdoor area straight outside and a little kitchen and bathroom that we share. So it is really nice. Um, I'm pretty tired actually and hungry because I've got no food so I need to I'm gonna walk into the city and probably have an early lunch or brunch or something <laughs> and then explore around the city area and the waterfront area so I'll do some filming when I'm there I just had a really nice lunch in the city at a cafe called The Rabbit Hole that's on the mall and if you're gluten free or veggie or vegan they had loads of options so that was a really nice place I'm really full now I had a chickpea burger with chips so definitely lunch not breakfast but <laughs> I'm a bit stuffed so I've just walked down to the waterfront precinct which is really nice um, it's just a quick walk from the CBD you can go across a bridge called the Sky Bridge and there's lots and lots of restaurants here you can see behind me I think this will be nice in the evening actually I'd imagine it'd be busy and there's a really nice lagoon and little fake beach as well so I want to go and have a look around The lagoon I just filmed earlier um, is a wave lagoon, so they have a big wave machine, come on. <laughs> I didn't realize you have to pay to go in that, but it's fenced off. I think it said $8 for, uh, for an adult. But this one behind me is free, I'm assuming, because it's open. But that looks nice, so it'd be quite nice to come down and have a swim one day. There's a jetty at the waterfront precinct as well. You can walk around to Stokes Hill Wharf. So I'm just gonna have a little look. I'm not really sure what's at the end apart from, I think it's a cafe or something. Um, yeah, there is a free bus actually around the waterfront precinct because it's quite big. It's kind of from the jetty around, it's a big loop. So you can hop on a free shuttle bus that has stops around here, but I'm gonna do it by foot. Do you know what? It's about 34 degrees, but because it's the dry season, it's really not humid and I'm not even really sweating and I'm walking around in 34, so. It's quite nice, so don't let the temperatures put you off. <laughs> There's a restaurant here, a seafood and steak buffet, so I think that would be quite cool. For somewhere to eat, it's facing out the ocean. The sea's so bright green, lovely. It's a bit windy, I think my hat's gonna blow off the water maybe. <laughs> just walked around the waterfront from the waterfront precinct so there's a cinema behind me a deck chair cinema it's called so I'm assuming that's an outdoor cinema I might just go and have a little look at it I wonder if that's open while I'm here uh, it's so quiet <laughs> even the city wasn't very busy it's shoulder season at the moment it's autumn it's um, early May now if you're watching this in the future I think peak season is probably the winter so June July August but it's so peaceful and lovely <laughs> Just walk to the Esplanade area, which is next to the city, and you can do a little 
a little walk here around the edge of the water and there's lots of plaques and information about the history of Darwin and their involvement in wars and things like that. It's day two now and it's Thursday so tonight the Mindel Beach markets are on there on Thursday and Sunday evenings at sunset I think they start at four so I will go to the Botanic Gardens this afternoon I'm staying in Stewart Park and then you've got the Botanic Gardens if you head west and then you've got Mindel Beach at the other side of that so I'm just gonna slowly make my way across there. It's probably a 30 minute walk, I think, all in all. So I'll go and explore the gardens after lunch and go to the markets. And then this morning, I'm just gonna head to the water that's on the eastern side of Stuart Park. It looks like a marina. I'm not sure if it's anything special, but I just wanna do something close by this morning and have a little look around. That's what I'm gonna do today. This place is cute. It's called Tipperary Waters Marina. It's just east of Stuart Park, so you just walk kind of north of the city along the eastern side of the water. There's um, fish and chip shop, eating and takeaway, and a few benches and things, so that might be quite nice if that's open in the evening. Does it here? Just walking around the edge of Tipperary Waters Marina now to the part where the water opens out. Um, it's a really nice area. Look at the marina. It's so pretty. And then you've got all these apartments behind facing the water that look lovely. Look. Oh, what a lovely, pretty place to live. Can't get to the water. It's fenced off. But look, that's looking across to Charles Darwin National Park, I think. Hi, I'm on my way to the Botanic Gardens now. Um, I decided to get a uh, what they call tap and ride card that you can use on the buses so I can get around by public transport. You can only buy them in the bus exchanges um, at the interchanges unless you've got cash to buy them on the bus. So I had to walk half an hour into the city to buy one. So I should have done this yesterday. Do your research <laughs> before you go somewhere. So I bought a card. It's really good actually. I paid $20 for a week's worth of unlimited travel, which is really pretty good. So I can get around mostly by that and explore. Although <laughs> I could only get the best two stops and then I still had to walk 15 minutes to get to the Botanic Gardens. So I probably may as well have walked there. But I want to get the bus home tonight because I don't want to walk through the gardens in the dark so the Botanic Gardens is right by Mindel Beach so if you want to see those two things I'd do them on the same day so I will look around the gardens and then go to the Mindel Beach markets afterwards I want to get out of here now. I can't find the way out. <laughs> I need to go that way, but there's trees and a big road, and I don't know how to get out. <laughs> My legs are tired now. It's very quiet in here. I think I've seen about two people. Very nice though. I'm at Mindil Beach now. Um, I've just had a nice big cold smoothie to refresh myself and get my energy back. It's funny, the beach is like, it's all dug up like that and then there's track marks all along it. Um, I'm guessing it's for a reason. But it's still quite nice and relaxing. The clouds are amazing. 
they're all like patchy and they're coming out of a sort of V formation right where the sun's going to go down so I think it's going to be a real cracker of a sunset. I've come to a place called Cullen Bay which is quite near the city. I got the bus here. It looks lovely. There's a nice marina and then there's cafes and restaurants and things. Although it's very quiet. It looks like hardly anywhere is open. Um, but I'm going to take a little look around and see if I can get a coffee or something. This is Cullen Beach, so I've just walked here from the cafes, it only took about two minutes, it's just across the road, really nice, I mean it's not like a soft sandy beach, it's quite stony and everything, but the sea is really nice and pale, sort of aqua colour, um, they have crocodiles in Darwin so you can't go in the water, <laughs> and box jellyfish at certain times of year, but um, it's nice to just sit here and have a look, it's totally empty, it's really really peaceful. The water's so calm, it's just nice, gentle lapping, not like Sydney where it's like <laughs> massive waves. <laughs> um, the marina was really nice, so that's Cullen Bay Marina. Um, I didn't realise there was loads of fish in the water. I sat away from the water at the cafe just because there was a toddler kind of screaming at the next table. <laughs> but there's loads of fish, it was really nice. Um, most of the restaurants were closed, but I think in the evening it'll be really, really nice because you'd see the sunset and I'm guessing it would be a lot busier. Um, but it was lovely, I think. This is probably the prettiest place I've been so far in Darwin, particularly behind here you've got really nice grass and then a long row of palm trees, so this is lovely. Also, they look like holiday apartments. That would be a really, really nice place to stay, I think. The view is just beautiful here. Oh, what a nice relaxing morning. The markets were really good yesterday, actually. I think that's been my favorite thing so far. The atmosphere was just lovely sunset that way almost a full moon that way <laughs> there was live music at the markets i had a nice curry i bought a ring for 35 dollars that was really pretty um and yeah the beach got quite busy at sunset but it was just a really nice 
fun sort of atmosphere and there was a free bus to the city at the end. I waited for a bus and then this one came on without a number and then everyone just got on it. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna get on it and hopefully end up in the city, which I did. So that was nice. It's been a great, a great little trip so far. Loads of jet skis out there. Oh, it's getting really hot now though. I don't think I can sit here in the heat for long. I'm gonna go back home for lunch and then do something else this afternoon. This is the pool at the Airbnb, it was really nice. Not cold, not hot, just perfect. Day four on my big Darwin adventure and today I'm going to Litchfield National Park which isn't very far away I think it's just over an hour away um, but the people who run this Airbnb do their own tours it's called Litchfield Park Adventures so they asked yesterday if I wanted to go with them and there's another couple next door <clears throat> who are doing a working holiday and they're coming as well and then a few other people so that'll be really good fun I'm gonna do some swimming a little bit of walking and a bit of exploring Just been swimming. There's a lot of stairs to get back to the car park. It's been a really, really good day there. Hi, it's day number five now. Technically, it's evening number five. I've had a very lazy day. I felt very tired and drained after all the days of racing around in the heat and everything. So I had a, a holiday from a holiday today and uh Mostly spent it in my room in the aircon, got up early, went back to bed for a bit. Spent the afternoon in the pool and listened to podcasts and stuff. Very hot today, it's 35. Um, so now I'm going to go out and get dinner. So I'm going to walk to that marina that was near here that I went to um, early on, which was Tipperary Waters Marina. So I'm just going to go and get some fish and chips there. And they do gluten-free batter as well, so that is going to be really nice. And I'll probably catch the sunset while I'm there. Morning, it is day six on my big Darwin adventure, last day tomorrow. Um, so today I'm gonna go into the city, over to the waterfront precinct again, because there is a museum inside some underground tunnels, so it's an old World War II oil storage tunnels, but they've set it up as a museum, so that looks quite interesting. I'm gonna go there, grab some more food, and then come back here, and then probably go somewhere else for the afternoon. The fish and chips was really nice last night, by the way. It was such a nice view. That marina is really nice. I thought um, thought there might be mosquitoes around sunset time at water, but there wasn't any. Maybe it's just this time of year. But that was very, very nice. It's kind of like a takeaway and restaurant. They had music playing and fairy lights and stuff. So that was really lovely.
here in the tunnels. Nice creepy. I've come to a place called Casarina Beach today. There's a few beaches that I wanted to look at, but this one looks absolutely huge, so I'm keen to check it out. We're here, dripstone cliffs, and then there's a surf club, and then there's a lot more beach, and a nudist beach. Ooh. Okay, let's go. How amazing is this beach? It's huge. I don't even think this is all of it. You can go a little bit further that way past oh more cliffs. <laughs> it's a little bit windy today. It's nice and cool actually with the wind. But I'm gonna go and have a little bit more of a look. This is the best surf club I have ever been to and I've been to a lot. They're really common in Australia, they normally have it on their popular beaches and sometimes they've got a little kiosk with coffee and stuff, but this is like a full-on restaurant almost it's really cool and all the seats are on the grass loads of room outside and all facing over the ocean and i'm on a swing look oh size of this beach is absolutely huge. Oh, it's really nice. Also, oh, I'm out of the window. I'm at Fanny Bay now and I'm going to the Museum and Gallery of Northern Territories at MAGNT. It's usually cool, so I'm going to pop in there. Just thought I'd have a little look at the beach first. It's right by the beach, so let's go. It's the end, the end of my big Darwin adventure. Um, it's about half past ten at night and my flight leaves at 1.20 in the morning. Darwin Airport doesn't have curfews like other airports in Australia, apparently it works around other airports. Um, curfews, so I'll get into Sydney just after 6am and then head home. But um, yeah, it's been really, really brilliant. Now I'm going to just pack my last few bits and pieces and then I've got an Uber coming at 11, so see you back in Sydney.